Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Artistic Intentions Studios. Uh, I have found this uh, nice 20 by 20 gallery edge canvas that I obviously had bought at one point in time to do an oil painting on. Um, never did. <laughs> Happens. <laughs> I find all kinds of art supplies that are I was going to do and didn't do. So anyway, nice canvas. I wanted to use it. Um, I watched the other day Miss Marcy from Mixed Media Girl did a funnel pour. I thought, well, that looks like fun. So let's just do it. I've already uh, got a nice layer of white. I'm going to add a little bit more because that's where I'm going to put the funnel. And then I've just got a bunch of various colors here, purple and green, like a bright green, silver, teal, turquoise, magenta, orange, <laughs> random. But I thought we would just go with it and see what happens. already open and ready to go. Um, I was going to pour them in a cup, but I think I'm just going to pour them directly in the funnel. And just layer the colors like that. We'll see what happens. holding the funnel uh, close to the canvas and then I'm just going to start pouring these colors in and we're just going to have some fun with it. A bit of purple. Some silver, not too much. Silver sometimes takes over. A little bit of orange. Okay, I'm just gonna move this around just a little, see if I can't release a little bit of color underneath the white. There it comes. Adding colors. That was a lot. I'm hoping to get uh, lots of cells from this. Um, if you go, if you shoot the color in underneath the white, or if the white gets pushed over, that's a good way to, to create some really cool cells. And I'm just kind of moving it around, trying to tilt the funnel and release some color here and there. This might prove to be quite interesting. The white I'm using is um, a 
Dutch Boy interior house paint uh, mixed with Floetrol and some water. I'm just going to add some more white. trying to do this without getting paint all over me. <laughs> it's not working. this lots of air bubbles lids were on. Speaking of which. This is going to be a mess. I can see it happening. <laughs> Move some of these out of the way before I dump them all over the floor. I'm just going to tilt this around a bit. Some really, some different colors. I am wanting to end up with some negative space and lots of fun cells. There's no silicone in any of this. But because we shot that underneath the uh, white and we moved the white over the colors. We are ending up with some nice cells and lacing. There's a lot of orange in this. Didn't really mean for that to happen, but then that dark teal comes out, so that kind of Kind of works. Actually, I wouldn't mind scooting off some of this orange over here. I do want some nice negative space. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Interesting. All of the uh, colored paints are all Master's Touch acrylics. 
in the tubes that I buy from Hobby Lobby. And then I mix them with um, Floetrol and water just to um, like a warm syrup or honey consistency. I can't really see what I'm doing. I want to bit more color in that corner. Um, this is really kind of cool guys. Uh, you know I just said in the last video or in the last couple videos that I needed to do, change up my color combo a bit. I was like every painting was coming out with purple and teal. <laughs> my favorite colors. <laughs> This definitely is not purple and teal. There's a lot of orange. And that deep, deep teal, greenish, which um, is in great contrast with that orange. Not really sure. was like a really sharp angle in the bands of that orange here in the corner. Just kind of move it a little bit so it's not so diagonal. It's more of a swooping. I like that better. All right. I think I'm digging this. Check my edges. They look pretty good. I didn't check the levelness of this canvas. Hopefully, hopefully it's good. All right. I'm gonna remove my gloves. pause you and bring you in for a close-up. Hang on just a second, guys. All right, we are back. Bringing around to my perspective here. And then we'll start the close-up. Like I said, this is a 20 by 20. It's got the gallery wrapped edge, which is a little um, deeper on the canvas. All right, there's a lot of orange and I don't know, it almost looks like red and I don't even know how that happened. <laughs> it's really interesting how things happen. So here is the lower right hand corner. Really cool um, banding. Almost like a natural rock agate. Very cool, and there's some purples in there. As I come up the side, there are some nice cells. Really interesting things going on. That looks like a yellow, I guess, I guess that must be a little bit of the green. It almost looks like a really light yellow up there in the upper right corner. Very cool. There's like a cloudy white coming through, through there. Lots of lacing and cells. A lot of cool cells right here, right in the center. Fun. As I come up here towards the upper left corner, there's some cells, some really pretty colors. This is really pretty right here. And coming down this side, still it looks very natural and organic. 
pretty cool. Pretty happy with it. All right. So, uh, shoot me some comments. Please thumb up, thumbs up if you enjoy the video. That's cool right there. Try to get an overall pick of it here. Hope you enjoyed it. Happy Easter. It's tomorrow. All right. So I hope you have a good day. We will see you soon. Till next time.